Welcome back to another video. Hopefully you're not tired of my voice yet, but here we go again. Another Sage Business Cloud Accounting video for this tutorial. In this video, we're going to go through recording supplier invoices or purchase invoices on the software. In the previous video, I went through adding suppliers. Now we have a supplier on the software. We can start raising invoices. Um, or not raising invoices because they've raised the invoices, but recording the invoices on the software. So going to purchases, we have purchase invoices and purchase credit notes. Obviously, if it's a credit note you need to record, click on purchase credit notes. If it's an invoice, click on purchase invoices. This screen should look very familiar to you. Once again, we have a blank list. This is the purchase invoice list and we have an option to add a new invoice to the right here. So let's just go ahead and do that. Click on new invoice, select our supplier. I've only added one supplier, Financial Services Limited, so we can, we can select that there. If you need to add the supplier, if you've got an invoice from a supplier and they're not on the system, simply use this add a supplier here, or you can go to contacts and add a supplier as shown in the previous video. Click on Financial Services Limited. The invoice date will automatically be today. The due date will be set automatically by what's on the supplier record. I set the payment terms as 30 days, hence why the due date is 30 days or a month after the invoice date. But you can change these um, by just using the calendars here. You can change the dates if needed. You can enter the supplier reference. That's likely going to be the supplier invoice number. So it might look something like this as an example. And then you can enter a reference. This is purely optional. Um, it could be like a purchase order number or some sort of internal or external reference. Now moving down to this invoice template. We have the product or service. These are items created in the product and services tab here. For most suppliers, we will not need an item or service created. So you can actually skip that and just move over to description here. So let's put in here, um, uh, let's just put legal consultancy for November 2019. The ledger accounts, this is the expense account. We have six seven six two zero consultancy and professional fees by default because that's what was chosen when setting up the supplier account. But obviously you can change that by just going through the, the list here. So with this one, let's actually select legal fees rather than consultancy and professional fees. Enter the invoice amount. So let's say it was five hours at £100 an hour. The VAT is calculated automatically. If there is no VAT, obviously just choose that in the drop down list here and the figures will be calculated automatically. So we have the amount as £500. Check that that is correct on the invoice. If you're happy, we can click save and new to save this invoice and then have a blank template to start a new one or we can just click save click save and the invoice will be added to the system now going back to purchase invoices you can see we have one invoice appearing now on our purchase invoice list it's shown as unpaid because it hasn't been paid yet according to sage if we have made a mistake and the invoice needs editing just like in previous videos, click on the invoice and then use the edit button to edit any of the, any of the details on the invoice. To do a credit note, it's exactly the same thing. Just go to purchase credit notes. There's nothing showing. Just click new credit note and you can add that to the system. Let's just add another invoice. So new invoice. Let's do financial services as today's date the invoice number, description, consultancy, uh, 12th or 11th, 2019. 
Just £50 this time, and let's have VAT for whatever reason this time. Click Save, and then this invoice is on the system. So that's pretty much it. I do get concerned that, I, that I'm going too quickly through this software. You know, I've been using Sage for almost a decade, um, and I'm aware that some of you are brand new to the software. I don't mean to go through it so quickly, but I'm also aware that these videos can be watched multiple times and they're for free. So if you are unsure, just keep watching the tutorial, watch videos twice if needed. I do offer email support if you need email support and one-to-one -one online tuition as well. The tuition's great because it's obviously personalized for you and your business. So if there are areas you're unsure about or if there are things on Sage you want to do that you don't know how to do, I can do that for you in the one-to-one -one, uh, tuition. I can train you, I can teach you and make you self-reliant with the software. Okay, so that's invoices and credit notes. In the next video, we'll just go through a few minor things and then we'll move on to the banking section of the software.